yesterday a woman came on my show. Uh, bring the woman in first. A woman came on my show. She's so lonely. Wants a friend so badly. She this is said. Sunny. This is Sunny. She and would Sun- be too. Sunny is eccentric. And she came in and said, you know what, Howard? I am alone. I just want a man. I want a friend. And I'm going to make a, a love connection right now. This is going to be exciting. To someone for everyone. Bring in Sunny first. Put her up at the podium. There she is. Still wearing the same outfit. Huh. Sunny, you came to me yesterday. You wanted a man. You're alone. You wanted a friend. You wanted a friend. A man. No, I... I don't mean a man sexually, necessarily. You want a friend. I wanted mental stimulation. It's like a game, you know? You put on your headphones so I can talk to you. I don't want to miss a word you have to say. Sunny, you were saying you were alone in the world. You had no friends. And you wanted a friend. Is that correct? Um, actually, I don't mind being alone. Um, I find that I can think better when I'm alone. And my creativity... Um, really works really good when I take time to be by myself. So I and get close enjoy. to that microphone. It's so hard to I hear enjoy you. Enjoy so, yeah. being by myself. Honey, though, yesterday you but, see- but once you have gathered so much information on just all kinds of different interesting topics, it's like you're ready to burst or explode because I don't know. I've tried to uh, express I, I, myself I, to people and they just what do they think. Do? I, I, I told a lot of people yesterday, I thought you should just, you know, go to a hospital and check yourself Maybe in. Maybe they would listen. Maybe they would listen <laughs> to you. But you said no. And I, I, and I was racking my brains because you wanted a friend. You said you wanted to hook up with me yesterday, I believe. And I said. But he can't think. I can't think <laughs> the way you want me to think. By the way, you got great boobs. And and where does Sunny? You know, she's wearing the exact same outfit. Did we take a shower? Oh, no. I don't believe I just, I just kind of scrubbed. <laughs> where did you spend scrubbed. last night? Where were you? Well, I got um, I got this uh, jacket that is like a lion mane on top. So I curled up in that and went to sleep. Where? Um, oh, it was down the down the street. It was. Uh, oh, on the street you slept? Well, on the side of the street. No, well, not on the side. It, it, it was under a tree. There was, it was it was real nice. It was beautiful. You yes. slept out there. You did a camp out last night. <laughs> uh, Sunny, I've and tried. And you scrubbed how? I, well, I stopped down the street. There's uh, this place and I asked if I could use the restroom and I <gasps> scrubbed and and there you are, there you are. all cleaned up what about a toothbrush? I'm not I'm not completely perfect man but a, do you I'm use a toothbrush trying. I put some bubble gum in my mouth all right that'll oh, that's do it kind of like a toothbrush to <laughs> mm. nature's toothbrush isn't it gross not to brush your teeth on you feel kind of well yeah sometimes I, I uh, have that feeling that I should find a toothbrush or a toothbrush is your breath real bad Casey, give her a kiss and tell me if it's bad. Ah. No? No. Could you brush your teeth with your Anyway, I wanted to make a love connection for you in the sense that you'd find a friend. I'm not looking for a love connection. No, you understand. I, I, yesterday you said you wanted someone you could talk to and someone you could hang around with. I didn't. I don't mean a love in the sense... Actually, I want to talk to America. I want America to like talk to me. I want them to like ask me questions and be curious. and. What kind of questions would you want them to ask you? Um, Ideas about... Uh, um, patrioticness, liberty, and uh, uh, patriotism. Their ideas on religion, uh, ways of life, and how they visualize the outside world of um, like the different cultures, like across the sea, and how our uh, government uh, goes over there and manipulates. All right. Well, listen to me. Listen to me. That, I can't make that happen for you, but I did find you a <laughs> we friend. We got another world thinker. Here. I want to introduce you to a guy who is so lonely and has always said to me, if you find any girls who are looking for a friend, a friend, please introduce us. I racked my brain. I found the one man I think would be perfect for you. Come on in, sir, and sign in, please. Here he comes. This is exciting. Very beautiful. High pitch? Yes. Listen to the sound of his voice. Hi. She's got her eyes closed. She has her eyes closed, and that's probably smart. That's the smartest thing you've done. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, Pitch. What do you think of this beautiful girl? Her name is Sunny. Hi, Sunny. You, you are beautiful. Thank you. Hi, Pitch. You've said to me many times, you're a lonely guy. Yeah. You want a friend. Yeah. You'll be anybody's yeah, friend. Yeah, you've asked me to be your friend. You've. Uh, okay. I, I, have, I have conditions. I have oh. conditions of friendship. Uh-oh. Uh, all of a sudden, she looked at High Pitch. Why, all of a sudden, when you see High Pitch, this, High Pitch, would you like oh, to be her friend? I would love to be her friend. You would? Mm. Yeah. Okay. I think I found someone here who's intellectually on your level, okay. who is someone who I think would be a perfect match. I'm going to let you two kids talk. I'm going to stay out of it. Go ahead, high pitch. And try to, she wants, she's very intellectual. Talk to her. 
mm. and see if there's some sort of mental connection. Sonny, how old are you? I uh, just turned 22. I just turned 30 last month. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, so where do you live? Where do I li- what do you mean? Does it matter? It doesn't matter where I live. I, uh, I live here in New York City. <laughs> what? It does matter where you live. Strike one. I am in New York City. I don't know if I'm going to choose to stay living in New York City, but yeah, I'm here right now. And how do you like it? I like it. I like it. I love the yeah. weather, actually. At night, it's like, oh, it's nice. You can go yeah, to the beach to tonight and hang out. <laughs> like, I can. Do you want to? Yeah, I, I need to find some uh, stones. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh. You want, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing tonight? You want to go to the bar and drink and go to the beach? Actually, I have to go to sleep and wake up tomorrow. Oh, they you oh shot down God. on why? Why do you have to go to sleep? I thought you were looking. For, I have to intervene. I thought you were looking for a friend, Sonny. The guy's a friend. He's, He's talking. You why do you have to go to sleep? You don't have to go to sleep. Sleep? You got nowhere to sleep. Yeah, I do. You get under the stars. Honey, do you not want to hang around with high pitch? I mean, uh, this what guy. What are her conditions? She said there are conditions to being her friend. Yeah, what are the conditions? And talk into that microphone. We can barely hear you. No, my conditions, okay. Actually, I don't have conditions. I have a choice of if I would like to spend time in your presence. And? And. You could definitely spend I'm time sure, with me. I'm sure um, if that is your ultimate desire that I could spend some time with you. You could definitely not spend time with me. Not necessarily all the time, but. Would you, I think I'm, I think, and I, and this is a rare moment, a girl has just agreed to, to spend time with Eric. You can definitely spend time with me. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what kind of, um, what, uh, what kind of things do you find interesting in life? What kind of things Uh-oh. do I find interesting? Uh, she stumped him. A lot of Pain. stuff. Wait. I like to read a book. I like to, I like like to read a book. Art. What, what do you consider? What, what do you? What do you have to say about art? This is gonna turn out. Uh, I'm, not, I'm really not into art. I mean, I don't. I don't really what about it. beauty? Do you like to judge beauty? Yeah. And you are beautiful. There are many, many. Oh, that's one thing about New York. I like watching all the people go by. There are a lot of very beautiful people. So you and Eric could sit around and look at the beautiful people beautiful. and say, there's another you one. You really are. <laughs> and it's no joke. You're in love with her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew this was a perfect love connection. Well, Eric would fall in love with a <laughs> oh, <no>. stump. <laughs> you really are beautiful. Tell her you'd like to rub up against her. Can I rub up How against you? <laughs> Can I French kiss you? Oh, no. God. Would you guys like to hang out that together? Is, that's... <laughs> Tara. <laughs> actually, I don't, I don't think that I actually... I mean, <laughs> to be completely honest, I really don't think that I have anything anything in common with him. Oh, I don't know about yes, that. Looking, know I'm so. really no, shocked it would, it would, it would be, it would I be, mean, I admit um, he's not Brad Pitt, but he's a great guy to hang with. He does nothing all day, and he could hang around with you and go to museums. Would you go to museums with her? Oh, yeah. no. I'm not a museum person. Right. Well, you've never museum. tried it, Eric. Let's see his armpits. He's a porky rep butler. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, Scarlett. Anyway, do you want to hang? Around? Do you want a friend? He's a friend. He's and I don't think he's a sexual predator. Okay. You're not gonna. You're not gonna uh, uh, try to rape her honor. or anything. Right? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna make any moves on her. Right? Yeah. If she wants to make a move on me, then let it be. Well, I'll tell you right now, there won't be any moves on oh. you. So. You never know. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. I, I might fall. I might fall and uh, need some assistance. Well, why don't we? What if we fall in love with each other? Oh. Love. <laughs> what is love? You know what love means. Um, <laughs> somehow yeah. everyone talks about it, and it uh, always leads to like. Rubbing up against people and <laughs> sexual. No, love means when you have sex with each other. Love has nothing to do with sex. It's very loving, Eric. <laughs> love is love is when you have sex. Like if I, like if we fall in love tonight. Well, maybe maybe in your mind. Maybe in in your mind that is what love is. Does she even love, like sex? Love is. I didn't uh, sound like something. So much like if we fall in love uh, with each other tonight, then that's I, a different story. We like, we'll have sex if we fall in love. <laughs> she Don't could fall in love. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not also, you. the sky. Uh, I'll be running, <laughs> running to the alleys away from you. <laughs> you le- I'm not finding you. You're not a lesbo. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I have no desire to be a lesbian. Um, I like to admire women, just um, if they are beautiful. Um, there are, there are a few that I would, maybe, maybe. Uh, uh, fantasy, fantasize, I think, but there none, the, none of the United States. Oh, really? What about and, Canada? Um, 
There's there's only there's only one. There's only one person, and it was from some German movie, and she uh, I, f- I forget what the movie was called, but it was really good, and she, she reminded me of like a panther, and that was like the only person that I ever would dream about. Uh, uh, what being call, lesbian, lesbian, with? lesbian, uh-huh. <laughs> lesbian thing. All right, well, I think you two are perfect for each other. Yeah, yeah. I think you could have great conversations. Yeah. Eric's Eric's just staring at her pit snatch. It's yeah, Get you got a lot of hair in them pits. <laughs> well, let's see yours, Howard. Eric. That does. Yeah. I got less hair than you. I, I got more hair than her. I know. Yeah, you got. Well, yeah, yeah you hair should. Hair. <laughs> I got blonde hair like you do. Hmm. You have. Well, yeah, I got blonde hair. Oh, <laughs> You have any pets at home? No, you you, you could be my pet. I got two All right. cats. All right. Well, these two kids ought to go uh, off. You guys okay. go away. <laughs> Why don't you guys sing "I Got You, Babe," like Sunny and Cher? I don't know that song. Oh. Well, do you guys want to go out and have fun together? Why don't you go, guys? Go talk to each other in the green room go and then make lunch. some plans. Go have lunch. Sounds like a good idea. Breakfast, whatever you'd have at this time of the day. What do you say, Sonny? Let me French like kiss this. you. Let me rub up against you. Can I French kiss you, please? No. Ugh. Why? Because I don't want Come you on. to kiss me. Let me French kiss you. No. Are you scared to do that? No, I just don't. <laughs> I just do not want to. So right. the reason, Sonny, have you ever been with a guy? Like made love to a man? Oh, made love to a man. Um, yeah, I did. You did? I think... I, it started when I was like um, about 15, 15. So you've done 15. it more than once. Like you've been with men. They're all totally disappointing. <laughs> well, I can't. Can't imagine. I can't tell you this one. Well, be. I I didn't try very hard. I didn't try very hard. But I guess it was like a test of well, you know, who are these guys? I mean, what are they capable of? And they just really weren't very capable of anything. Well, what were you so, expecting? Um, what was I expecting? Well, when you were in the mental um, institution, did you have any well, sex? How did you? I mean, you are like psychic, dude. Yeah, oh I can. Okay, God. at the mental institution, I was there for what? <laughs> <laughs> were the guys you had sex with mostly wearing like white suits and sneakers and stuff? <laughs> no, they were, they were kind of, um... Did you have sex with the attendants? There's like, what, 12 witnesses. Will you please come forward? <laughs> um, Eric's in love with her, look. I see staring I at her. You, you like her rap, huh? I do, but she does want to French kiss me. Does it scare you that... Well, why don't you calm down with the French kiss and get to know her a little bit? I'll get to know her. <laughs> you can tell he likes somebody when his lower lip hangs out past his stomach. Yeah. <laughs> you are hypnotized, huh, Eric? I am. You like her? Yeah. You like what she has to say? Does it scare you that she's been in a mental institution? No. No. You don't care? I don't, I don't, I don't care. Sonny, do you want to hold his sweaty hand and see how that feels? Oh, God. <laughs> Well, she's not that crazy. She doesn't want to date Eric. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I know. Sonny, I don't mean to embarrass you if you don't want to hang around with Eric, but I didn't mean as a boyfriend. I thought maybe the two of you could be friends. Well, no. Um, do you like to study? Do you like to study? Um, do you ever, like, study anything? or? Um, no, I don't study at all. Any interests at all? Of Tell her your interests. I like, to go on, I like to go on the internet on the computer. On the computer? Yeah. I get into... Well, oh, okay, so basically you've got all the porno sites, right? Am I right? Uh, kind of. Okay. Anything else rock and roll? Uh, Get close to that microphone, Sonny. Anything else? Uh, rock and roll? Uh, uh, any kind of... You're into rock and roll. Actually, do you, want, do you want to know what kind of music I like? Yeah. What kind of music okay. do you like? I like, um, okay, I like the gypsy Romanian um, fiddles, as well as the backwoods American fiddles. The backwoods American fiddles, I can get down with. And uh, let's see, what else? I like the 1970s um, and 80s rock and rolls. All those, all those CDs. They, there should be a radio station somewhere that has a station where they play all those, all the music from like well, like 1970s, 60s. The heavy metal stuff. That well, I guarantee you, if there's play. a radio station like you're describing, Infinity owns it. Uh, you, you like like uh, ACDC and Billy Idol. That's the kind of stuff you like. Mm. All right. I, you know, I, I like the I like the people that no no one else knows or they're all forgotten, and <laughs> you just pull out their music and well, then we like got the wrong person for it. It's Hank the Angry Dwarf. Yes. We should have. Peter, you're on the air. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. How you doing, Howard? Yeah. Um, what, Eric, is he like as smooth as a bumpy road or what? Yeah. With this girl. What did well, you say? You're not doing well with this girl. You could win her over you're so easily. It, yeah. 
I, if I was going after, I'd say, you know what? I love music. I love to talk about well, things. I love the concerts. You, you know, I mean, you're acting like you don't have any interests. You have interests. You're and interested in radio. You love. I'm just a radio going to concerts and stuff. of sports. Hey, hey, Eric. She's not even looking at him. Eric, you're a zipperhead. That's what I was saying. Do hey, what Eric. guys do, Eric. Lie. Yes. Tell her what she wants to hear. Right. Tell her you, you love mental patients. Tell her you love. Do you love? Uh, you love blondes. You, you love. Blonde. You love watching people on the street as they walk by. People watching. You love don't rock and roll. You love walks in the park. Like to sleep under trees. Right. Think. New don't York's don't a great go city. Go to sit down and think of something yourself. Because I, I, that's I love, I love eating Snicker bars. Right. Snicker. <laughs> <laughs> you like to eat co- crates of Snicker bars. Like you should take her. Tell her. Tell her how you love to go on the internet and eat while you're on the internet. <laughs> when, I, when I go on the internet, I eat Taco Bell. And you call weathermen, you know. You tell, her, I call. tell her how you invite all the cops over to, to drink wine with you. No. After their shift. Right, like you call Sam Champion. Because you like guys in, in um, what, what, uniform. What do, you, what do you think about, um, what is it, uh, dumpster diving? Have you ever dumpster dive? What, no, what is that? That's Honey, can you talk up? I can't hear you. A dumpster dive. It's a, All right, listen. It's listen. A term- terminology of... Um, very hard to hear on the radio. You know what that yeah, is, I know. She's very difficult to hear, yeah. She's talking about dumpster diving. You know what that is? Yeah, she goes up to dumpsters and goes in and puts, pulls stuff out to eat. <laughs> All right, listen. I, I'll always learn something new. <laughs> hey, I'll learn something new if you want to teach her. me. Well, All right. Well, let me... T- uh, Rich, go ahead. Hey, Howard. Yeah. Listen, I was thinking if she's not going to go out with Eric, maybe you could hook me up with her. <laughs> I love. Her. I don't know if you guys remember me. I took Christine out. Benji's uh, lost date. Really? Yes. Remember when Benji screwed up with Christine? Yeah. That was me that took her out. I was thinking you could do me the favor back and hook me up with Sonny. Well, let me tell you, uh, Sonny is in demand. Eric is fighting for his life in here. Why don't you two kids go off and talk a little bit and decide if you want to go hang out? I think you're a perfect match, believe it or not. Eric, why don't you invite her to go over to Central Park Zoo and have a hot dog? It's a good idea. Or ten hot dogs. (laughs) Eric will have ten. Hey, Howard, how would you ask Sonny if she wants to go out with me? Give me a chance. Sonny, do you want to go out with Eric today and have hot dogs in the park? No, I I choose not to eat hot dogs. I can't. Would you like to go to the park and see the polar bears? Um, I well, love animals. Because Eric's the size of a polar bear. <laughs> what? I know the polar bear's name there too. Yeah. Do you want to go learn the names of the polar bears with Eric? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Uh, can I tell a story instead? No. Well, I want to know if you want to go to the park with Eric. To you don't. <laughs> You don't. I don't want to go to the park. Hey, how if, uh, hey, is hey, it, hey, hey. Okay, I, I'm, I like to walk up and down the streets and stuff. So if you're out and I'm out at the same time, <laughs> you can come up to me and you can talk to me and I will have a conversation with, with you. How about going window shopping? Otherwise, I really how about going window shopping? To Would you like to go window shopping? out with you. <laughs> Would you like to go no. window shopping with Eric? Please, no. <laughs> so what do you like to do? What do I like to do? I like, I like to study and I like to... Um, what are you studying? What am I studying? Yeah. I'm studying everything in the universe. Dude. So are you going to the library to study? Um, yes. The origin of words. What library are you going to? Um, I don't know. I haven't decided. There's several. There's several around here. Yeah. You want to go together? No. Oh. All right, that's a no. She All basically right. just told him, if I bump into you on the streets of Manhattan by accident, I'll talk to you. This is why I hate setting people up, Rob. It never works. It never works. Hey, Howard, Eric's going about this all wrong. Isn't he trying to make a girl laugh? I mean, why don't you do some of your stand-up? Make her laugh. Well, that's uh, an idea. Do some of your stand-up. He does stand-up. I do, sta- I do, do stand-up, but I forgot the stand-up I do. Oh. <laughs> well, sit down and think about it. Then stand up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're an obese Johnny Carson. You do a whole rap about planes, don't you remember? Yeah, that's when you and I went to. Uh, yeah, go ahead, do that for her. Do I, forgot that, I forgot that one already. Uh, do it. You know it. Uh, well, I forgot that one. All right. Well, it's not working out, Robin. And he's well, not I definitely helping wanna, at all. Let's go to the library and hang out. Well, that's when when I'm done here. That's what I'm gonna run and do. That's what I. So I'll run with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get about a half a block. I'll have a heart attack. <laughs> I you want know, to see to the library. Uh, Sonny is. You don't like Eric? Oh. It's not that I don't like him. It's just there. Are like, okay, okay. How do you how do you describe the value of people? I'm not saying you're you're valueless. Yes, at you all. are. Yeah. Because if you were valueless, I wouldn't even talk to you, and I would like run away. If I Sonny, give him you. a value. A value? We'll put a value on Eric. I can't. I can't. It's <laughs> the development of character, and it's like, um, 
I mean, people who have developed their character, sometimes you're drawn to them because they're interesting to talk to, or they have, um, yeah, inter- interesting. How angry is Eric's penis at the moron it's attached to? Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh? He can't even pick up a girl who's been in a mental institution. Well, Eric, leave her alone. She doesn't want anything to do with you. I tried. I thought of you. I thought you guys would have been a good match. It obviously hasn't worked out. So I'm going to say goodbye to Sonny now and Eric, and uh, and uh, thank you, too, for coming in. And I tried. I tried to find you a friend, Sonny. And I, f- I try to find you a friend, Eric. That was my intention. Thank you. Thank you. And Eric, I'm going to give you a restraining order right now. Stay away Stay from, from Sonny. Sonny. Don't, yeah, follow, don't, her don't follow her. She wants nothing to do with you. All right. Can you follow? No, you don't. You don't have to. You don't have to do that. If you if you see me, you're more than welcome to talk to me. There's nothing wrong with. So he has that much of it. You can talk to me too. All right. <laughs> All right. You two. Why don't you go ignore each other or talk to each other in the hall? Thank you. I should. All right. Thank you, Sonny. And and Casey, give Thank Sonny you. a head start out of here so that yeah. she can she avoid can get Eric. Away from Eric. Imagine, imagine, I don't know who's scarier. Imagine we're giving her a head start away from I, Eric. I have a question. Was, was that rude? What, is what I said really no, rude? No, it's how you feel. It's how you felt. You were honest. You didn't want to have a, a relationship yeah. with uh, Eric. I don't mean a romantic relationship. You don't even want to have a well, friendship. N- no, and I said like the value, the value thing. I I think that that possibly no, was you have you put rude. values on people as to what you're interested in eric is not what you're interested in he has a value to someone else but not to you did you make an observation on character or physical like are you attracted to eric in any physical way physical way well there's no I, way no you can, no, no i men just nowadays are not um what i would say right. very no. um it's not eric it's viral it's, it's men that might be the term actually um all right. Thank you. Men are not men. Yes. I mean, you do have a very, by, by it seems, it uh, does look like you have a good personality. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Eric. And thank, thank you, you, Sonny. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Sonny. And uh, I'm sorry it didn't work out. That's okay. Thanks. When I met her yesterday, I thought, well, who could you, go out with her? You thought of something. Yeah, she I was, thought she I had an idea. She was looking for a friend. She was, and Eric is not the one. You know what? As soon as she showed her Eric, she didn't want a friend. Eric, what went wrong there? She, I don't know. She's got a nice body, I'll tell you that, right? I don't know. I thought you could get her. I don't know. Eric, listening to... Uh, seriously, I know what went wrong. Listening to you talk is like watching paint dry. You don't you don't listen to her and sort of respond to her. You have your own agenda that's very dull. No, I listen to her. <laughs> hey, Howard. You're not even listening to Gary. I know. Right. <laughs> Can you see this? He was just holding the mic for probably about one minute. And do you see the bottom is all wet yeah, right yeah, here? Yeah, it's soaking wet. Oh. Yeah, it's soaking wet. Look. Well, he's got a medical condition. Uh, he has <laughs> obesity. That's, that's unreal. All right. Well, so, I'm sorry it didn't work out high pitch. I tried. All right. There's What's a- with, your, with your palms of your hands? Have you ever gone to a doctor about that? They're so wet. No. I, I, Why would he start there? Exactly. exactly. I, didn't even, I didn't even find the right doctor yet. All right. <laughs> all right. Like Sonny, I guess the doctors run away from you, too. <laughs> All right, I thought there was a clue, uh, maybe a chance. Are you hurt that, uh, you know, there was no love connection here today? <laughs> no, not really. At least I tried. Yeah, his ego is intact. <laughs> at, at least I tried. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Well, thank you, High Pitch. Okay. Great seeing you. That's thank High you. Pitch Eric, everybody. Everybody loves High Pitch Eric. All right, nobody loves High Pitch Eric. But <laughs> uh, we haven't found anybody yet. But he is a friend of the show.